Hello, good morning everyone. This is Linda. I hope you guys are having a beautiful morning. As you can see, the sun is shining bright. It's shining bright. I've been having a wonderful morning. Yep, and I'm wearing my shirt today, y'all. I wanted to share. Yeah, for those who didn't see it. But anyway, guys, I wanted to just walk around and give you uh, an update on what is growing in my garden. Yeah, oh, it's hot, y'all. It's hot. <laughs> but I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And also, I wanted to share with you all, when will I know my garlic is ready? <laughs> when is it ready, y'all? All right, guys. But first, if you are not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I will be sharing my zone nine garden. Nah. <laughs> oh. All right, guys. So this is my corn. Yeah, the corn is doing really good. Very good. Yeah. It's getting very tall, I tell you. See that? Yeah. And this is the little bed right in front of the corn. And in here it is some chickpeas or gabanzo beans. And as you can see here, she is producing flowers. And that is chickpeas. Yes. Um, and lots of um, flowers coming up all over, so it's doing well. See this all up in here, all up in here. <laughs> yeah, each and such. Basil, little lime, mint, pink lady, she's closing up. She's done her thing, I tell you. This is sunflower, she's getting pretty big. Yeah, she's getting pretty big. So, see that? How gorgeous is that? Beautiful tomato. More tomatoes coming up. They coming up and around here. They're doing good. So this is the little uh, triangle over here in the corner. Yeah, that's what's going on with it. It's doing really good. Really good. And uh, the basket of flowers <laughs> uh, right in the middle of the garden. Yeah. They all doing good. They all coming up. I love these flowers. When they when they bloom, you see them. They're really nice. Very nice. The buckets. <laughs> so they're coming out. These are the two that Jaden just dropped the other day, so not yet. Then um, everything is coming up nicely. Only one is not coming up good that I've seen, and that is this one, and that is that Casper White. Um, Eggplant. I'm gonna start some in a small cup. I'm gonna see. Maybe I need to baby it. <laughs> we'll see. This is lentils. Yeah, this is lentils. Now they're really going all over this way because of rain. 
but as you can see they are really just doing very well very well mm -hmm. lentils and of course more tomatoes mm. ah yeah lots and lots of tomatoes and there's another one and there's more here Overwintered oregano and this. So, this is to my friend Suzette. This is the planter I was telling you about, and this is rutabagas. That's what this is rutabagas. And uh, I'm thinking it's green and one or two. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Cardone. Every one of them. <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right, guys. So one of the first updates of my topped peppers. So this pepper here is not topped. So she is not topped at all. This is her stem. She, see, she has some leaves coming out of her joints. Uh, but this is her stem. She's not topped at all. And in the same pot, this plant is topped. And this is the way she looks. You see there's much more uh, leaves coming from joints. And I want you to check out her stem. Look at her stem. And look at this stem and this stem and as time go by you will see a huge difference but anyway that is the way that looked today this is the top pepper this is one of my fish peppers and we have fish peppers coming up everywhere it's really pretty Very pretty. And she has lots of peppers coming on. Yeah. More peppers. More peppers. More topped peppers. <laughs> yeah. This is the uh, dragon. I'll put the name up there because I forgot the name of it. But it's some kind of radish, dragon radish. But anyway, that's it. And of course, there's more topped peppers on top of all of these peppers. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the overwintered pepper, and this is the one that I harvest. As you can see, the peppers, she's coming back with more peppers and more flowers. The girl is a beast. <laughs> peppers and more top peppers. Look at her. And beans. So this is from seed, and here's another one right here. She all squished up in this corner, I tell you. And we have how many tomatoes? Is that one, two, three, five tomato plants in this little bed? And here is the seeds that we dropped. Um, those flower seeds. And of course, this is around the tree. Nasturtiums and morning glories. Look at them. They just showing all their colors. <laughs> They're really pretty on this 
gloomy morning. Yeah. It's about 6.30. It's, it's about 6.30 a.m. So it's kind of, you know, kind of gloomy out here. It's okay. It's okay. I'll take it. We're going to have more flowers Of course the roses are doing good. Jody's hydrangea. And the new plant is doing well. She loves it here. See? She loves it here. So I'm going to uh, plant both of them. Yeah, I'll plant both of them there. Now in this pot here, that is morning glories and four clocks and other little goodies that's coming up. Yeah. This is my onions, all from seed. Celery, my bolting celery. <laughs> yeah. Done good. So this is a uh, the garlic I harvest and use and then I replanted it and you can see it's growing back and this is an overwintered pepper yeah she's coming back she's giving me peppers yes I love it Charles I love it mm. So this is the truck rim, and this is all the brassicas, all those beautiful seeds I dropped, and that's them. Two nice cool rabbits here. Boy, he's making some noise this morning, huh? <laughs> and here is the other um, pot of brassicas. That's a garlic right here. Yes, yeah. And of course, y'all, there's just lots and lots of tomatoes. Just, yeah. Lots of tomatoes. But, um, I've harvested a couple, enjoyed a couple. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> they are delicious. Uh, I had never uh, eaten a uh, baby orange uh, that was gifted uh, to me by C.B. Um, Renee. And uh, God bless our baby. That uh, C.B. and Renee, they lost their beautiful cat, Tabitha. Yeah, my heart goes out to him. I know when you lose a pet, it's it's really tough, really tough, y'all. Yeah. So there's so many uh, tomatoes here in this CB uh, and Renee's uh, tomato bed. It's just. It's just crazy full of tomatoes, but I'm enjoying them all. <laughs> yes, I am. I am enjoying them. Yep. So I wanted to talk to you all about garlic, and how do you know when your garlic is ready for harvest? Yeah. So one thing you see is this, is you see at the bottom, all of, all the uh, plants at the bottom, they all brown at the bottom here. Um, also, um, now only a hard neck variety of garlic will produce a skate. So I'll show you 
these comparisons between a hard neck and a soft neck. So if you take your hard neck garlic, you can feel that stem in the middle of it, you know, when you get it home from the store. But a soft neck does not have that stem. That is that scape. So don't look for your garlic to have a scape if it is a soft neck variety. Okay. So you look for this. Now this is the Italian garlic. So that when you see this here looking like this, it is truly almost ready to harvest. Now I listen. <laughs> I love the bulbs. I I really do. I love the bulbs. You know, but you know, if I if I never get a bulb, I, I mean I'm good with it because all of this, all of this greenery you see, is edible. Every bit of it. And every bit of it I use in my in my cooking, right? So um, I just come down here and I just feel down here sometimes. Right now, I could tell you that this bulb is not ready. It is not ready uh, to harvest uh, right now. But I can tell you this: it won't be long. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, yeah, it won't be long, guys. It won't be long, and it will be time to harvest these babies because all of them is just like that. So this is May. I'm looking for maybe in the middle of June, if not sooner, if not sooner. All right, guys. That's my little tips on growing garlic. Mm -hmm. Marigolds. Marigolds. <laughs> yeah. There's some tomatoes on this plant. Let me see here. Let me bring this down. There we go. They just, they just really doing so good. And the sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are doing good. Let's see here. Yeah, they're doing really well. The sweet potatoes. The white potatoes. Not yet, y'all. Not yet. And more uh, Mexican sunflowers. My ginger, my ginger, and there is uh, a leek. So this is the crate that I got over from Mr. George, and in here comes up lots and lots of carrots, carrots and lemon balm. That's what that is, and, uh, and flowers too. <laughs> I see flowers. Morning glory is saying good morning in the middle of the cucumbers. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. Good morning in you now. Yeah. That is lovely. <laughs> I was passing it by, but hey. She said, come on, take my picture, take my picture. <laughs> there you go, girl, there you go. <laughs> so we have lots of uh, Zenas coming here and Morning Glory down there. Yeah, it's really pretty, really pretty. Mm. The Jamaican uh, sorrow is doing well. So someone asked for an update on the olive. So here are the olive trees. Um, it's been through a lot of bad weather, you know, but it's holding on to some olives. Um, not as many as it had before, but you know, this is where it goes. I still have olives, so that's for sure. right there. It's 
to it, okay? So pretty good, I'd say. Yep. That's the olives. My lemon tree, one of them, doing good. She's doing good. This is another one of them, doing pretty good. Blueberries. This is a blueberry plant, doing well. And here's another blueberry. The fig trees, <laughs> where the banana trees is touching the top of the fig tree. Oh yeah, they're growing. So those, those are my cuttings from my friend Shanana. My LSU gold cuttings, that's what that is in there. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, everyone. I want to thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. It's been a very lovely day. Uh, sad news at the end of the day uh, was, um, well, I heard about it last night. It was confirmed today that a first cousin of mine did pass away. Also, I'm just going to put a little clip at the end of the Blue Angels that's going to be flying over. If you don't know the significance of the Blue Angels, I will give you a short, short um, um, information about the Blue Angels uh, in the description box. Thank you all so much, and I ask that you all please pray for me and my family. She was my first cousin. Her name was Beatrice Rice. Yeah. All right, guys. Lady Yoko.